cyber, cyber security awareness is on the rise. On the rise. As the internet continues to evolve, the security of commerce becomes ever more significant. More significant. Ever more significant. Once thought of as a concern, concern only for large corporations and the federal government to solve, solve, solve. Cyber, security. cyber security is and will continue to be an issue for anyone conducting activity via the internet. Via the, via the internet. The city of Sterling Heights is proud to be home to a first of its kind cyber hub in the state of Michigan. The cyber hub, which will be housed at the Velocity Center, is part of the Michigan Cyber Range. The Michigan Cyber Range is tackling cybersecurity issues for companies here in Sterling Heights and throughout the world. We know that cybersecurity will continue to be an issue in the coming years. And now, Sterling Heights, Macomb County, and the state of Michigan are home to this valuable business resource that we believe will attract and spur on growth and tech developers throughout the area. It is an established fact that over 70% of security breaches are targeted towards small businesses. If you're a small business that serves a larger corporation, you may even be viewed as a less protected entry point. This is a critically important issue, and I'm really proud of our track record here in Michigan. We've done a number of things over the last two or three years. One of the first things we did was hold the Cyber Summit in 2011 to bring people together to say, we need to start talking about this issue. The Cyber Range started in 2011 when Governor Snyder uh, talked about his vision for cybersecurity in the state of Michigan. And it was really twofold. Uh, the first part was that he found Michigan was really unprepared for a cybersecurity incident. Uh, and so we wanted to, to work on that and as a result, uh, we've done things like the Cyber Disruption Plan, we've created the Cyber Civilian Corps, uh, and we created the Cyber Range that is kind of the collaborative center for all that work. Which is really an, a wide area network where we can actually test things. We can simulate things. People can work on projects. We can learn from one another and train people on cybersecurity. The other part of his vision was that we would become an economic development kind of magnet. Uh, a way that, that said, hey, we have a cyber aware and trained workforce. Don't you want to move your company, move your business to Michigan and take advantage of that? So the cyber initiative for the Michigan Economic Development Corporation has been designed to develop a strategy statewide to tackle cybersecurity as an industry for both workforce development, STEM and talent development, and business development. The range is a cybersecurity education training and testing program. And what we do is make courseware available through our virtual infrastructure uh, to places like the Velocity Center uh, so that they can hold classes and events uh, and train their local uh, workforce in cybersecurity techniques and skills. It's here in the incubator because the incubator does small business incubation and product development. And one of the tools within the range is product development uh, testing, penetration testing. Uh, so to marry up the entrepreneurship that, that the incubator offers with cybersecurity uh, in general, this was a good location to host it. Well, the Velocity Hub is designed to concentrate on cyber auto and defense. We are in the defense corridor of Macomb County. There is a tremendous concern of a national security matter with the amount of vendors that we have in our defense industrial base in this community and getting them educated and able to test and validate their technologies. So even if they're in the manufacturing sect, what is it that they have on their networks that needs to be better secured? Technical data packages that they might have for the military, for GM, for Ford, for Chrysler. These are all IP concerns. At the moment, we do not have the federal regulations to dictate that they must train and test, but those regulations are coming, and we want Michigan to be better prepared for that. So MEDC um, is being forward thinking and that we want to be able to provide a tool and resource to the community that they can leverage now so that a year from now when there is a regulation and or a requirement they must follow, they're going to have the tool ready and they're going to know how to use it.